Alright y'all, so I have finished with the part one. Mm, phase one, I don't know if you can call it, of my self-care routine. Just getting back to me. But with doing that, I got myself a new water pick. And instead, I'm gonna mix water and mouthwash in it instead of just doing butter. I just brushed my teeth and I hope this piece is supposed to come off. I think I just broke it. I think I just broke it. <laughs> Girl almost died. All right, but in my breath, I, I feel minty fresh. Put this to the side. My countertop is crazy. All right, this is crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm going to drown myself. Good morning, guys. And welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is the next day. You guys see my routine last night. And now this morning, I am sitting in the parking lot at HEB. But I'm also on live, so it's a little weird. The people in my life are going to be like, what you doing, sis? Babes, I'm vlogging. <laughs> but, um... I just went to Bucks of the Star. You guys know I just started recently supporting again, but I got me a caramel macchiato with oat milk and um, a vanilla bean Danish because that's my newest obsession. You want some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, but definitely set this party on fire. I do need to get my groceries today before the kids get in school, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me to get the items, items for their lunch boxes, and mm, I need to find a TJ Maxx over there. Actually, it's a Marshalls over there. No, it's a TJ Maxx and a Ross. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit here on my live for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna go home and change for. I'm gonna go change and put on a decent outfit to go shopping in because that was. I did the entire suit. Uh, not your daily attire see this is what's funny because i'm on i'm on live too <laughs> and mars xo was just like their daily attire is sweatpants and sweatshirt honestly that's what i have on right now but that's not what i'm going to go shopping in um i want to put like jeans on to just make myself a little bit better it's just the little things that makes me feel better about things again no take no tea nor shade towards anybody that goes shopping in sweatpants because babes that's what i used to do but it's just the little things that makes me happy and brings me joy. It's just putting an outfit together and going out. Um, multitasking, girl, because you know it's hard. But um, I'm going to talk to them for a little bit longer. And then I'm going to go home, change. I don't know if I'm going to show you the outfit that I'm working on. Or help y'all help me pick it out. Pick it out, kind of. Even though I'm going to wear what I want to wear. Because can't nobody tell Tierra what to do. Um, but I'm going to see you guys when I get back to the house. Y'all to prove that we on live, y'all. Because, oh, because focus. Because you act like you can't see that. You really act like you can't see that. Okay. If you want to see yourself in the live, just go ahead and say, hey, what's up, vlog? In the, oh, everybody in the live, go ahead and say, hey, what's up to the vlog? It's literally not focusing. Oh, there we go. All right, we're, we're focused. So, yeah, everybody in the live, we got Shanique. We got Mars XO. We got a couple more people. Miss Erica. We got her up in the building. Um, it was some more people at the top. Miss Lola Gro. I didn't even see a comment. There's a dress code for Trader Joe's. No. It's just the little things that make me feel like put together here recently. It, Trader Joe's. Girl, you could go in there in a daggone knapsack. The way Trader Joe's employees be. And they do not care. 18%. Alright, so I'm back home. Well, you guys... I already see that i don't need to announce that uh i need to find my other battery and i need to actually clean my house y'all like i need to find like a little teenager that wants to make some money too because i need the grass tended to um before hoa has like a whole conniption behind the grass i i purchased some stuff at ross that's been in my closet for like a week y'all right here oh i need something to hold you it is kind of it is kind of cold but i was like i can either wear this los angeles um bodysuit didn't think this through well what pants 
with wet pants. But if I put these pants on, I think these are the shoes I'm thinking. Yeah, the fake denims. But if I wear that, I can't wear these. I love, I love new shoe smell. Oh my gosh. We all have our quirks, right? What's one of yours? Mine, new sneak, new shoe smell. It just, I can't describe the smell, but it's just, oh, oh, it's, it's necessary. I just put these jeans on with the black Los Angeles. Let me, let me get dressed. I, oh, and y'all are dead. So let me charge both my batteries. I'll be okay. back. So it is 8.59, right on schedule. I said, if I leave at nine o'clock, I'll be cool. So um, dressed, actually, let's pick a perfume together and then we roll it out because literally ooh, choo, choo, choo. okay so oh well okay well perfume a little gallery situation here um i kind of want y'all know the whole yara sense i have this one and i have the pink one i think i want to wear i think i'm gonna wear this one today but what I have not found, ooh, good God, that smells really, really good. Um, I have not found a fragrance to pair with it yet. Yeah, I do drown myself in perfume. Babes, I trip, typically I don't, I don't like to spray my clothes, but honestly, as long as I, as long as I wash them really well, which I have been doing, um, I don't see the stains. So, it really doesn't matter to me now. Like, I used to really trip about that kind of stuff. But now, it really doesn't matter. And I talked to you guys earlier about, like, how I have, uh, the, um, the money saving, the 100 envelope savings one. I, I want to say I want to put another, I want to do another one. I don't have any loose like ones. Oh, actually, yes, I do. I do have ones. I got one up. I want to do how many ever ones I have. Oh, I forgot. I have a Target gift card too. All right. Oh, okay, cool. I got five ones. Two, three, four, five, just to be sure. I'm going to put that away. Yeah, I took out cash at the ATM, but I don't know. I don't know if I need to necessarily buy anything. Y'all, this stuff, this was a, a, a accidental buy. I might need to go into Sephora. Um, this is plumping gloss and I don't like plumping gloss at all. But um, I spent money on it and we're gonna use it. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're three minutes behind schedule. Let's get in the car. I'm gonna chat with you guys in the car. I don't know if I want my other battery. I do. See, this is the only thing about the camera that I have. The battery life sucks. I'm going to charge my camera batteries up with my outlet charger in the car. But this battery life on, the battery life on this camera sucks. And I really want a new one because I've had this camera probably four years. I think it's been four years I've had this camera. I kind of want another one, but I also don't want to spend the money to get another one. Like buy a brand spanking new one. I'd rather go to like a pawn shop <laughs> um just to see if i can save a little bit but some of sometimes i will say that sometimes going to a pawn shop is not beneficial because that camera could be jacked all the way up and you really are buying as is okay y'all we have made it to the um excuse me, the Austin area where Trader Joe's is, but Ross is right here, and I know that there is a Marshall's close, Marshall's or TJ Maxx, I'm not quite sure, it might be both, if I'm not mistaken, um, but again, you guys know that I'm on the hunt to find these bento boxes, because I broke my children's <laughs> bento box before spring break, and you guys know my kids pack their lunch, because if not, my little babies will not eat, well, one of my little babies will not eat, and she ain't even no dead one, baby. That girl darn near grown. Y'all know my my Blythe Poo, my Sagittarius queen. She will not touch school lunch. She won't touch anything from that school. I can't blame her, honestly. But, like, at the same time, it be working my nerves. Because I be like, girl, 
Girl, I'm running out of ideas. Hey, y'all want to know something funny? So, uh, I'm over here in Frost, right? Okay, let me show you. Ross is right here. I parked in the front, okay? Ross is right there. But be why is it auto what, what is going on with my camera? But because I'm so used to like the Rosses near me opening up at 8 o'clock, girl, I'm at the door like this. <laughs> and the guy, the guy like looks at the window, like, what are you doing? And then he like points at the time. Girl, they open up at 9 30. I got two minutes. But like, you sit up there and watch me struggle that whole great long time. That's embarrassing. It, if, you know, if I was an embarrassed person or if I was like ashamed of different things or if I embarrassed easily, I wouldn't even go in the store because that's kind of embarrassing to like be over there basically trying to hulk the daggone door open and it ain't even open. Like the store is not even open. Like I'm not embarrassed easily. Like I'm going to go in there and speak to the dude be like, you, you just going to sit there and watch me. You going to watch me struggle. You going to let me in. You going to let me in now, daggone. Y'all, a random find. How much is this though? $6.99, huh? I guess. Oh, spirulina is really good for you. I used to drink that in like a sweet, like, I forgot what kind of beverage it was, but it was pretty good. The same price. Do y'all get stuff from the food aisle at Ross? I know sometimes I do. Especially if it's something that we eat on a regular, like Nutella. Because it's only $4. It doesn't expire until 2025. And the, it's $4. So, it's always a buy for me. And so far, I've got these meal prep uh, containers. Because if I don't find Bento boxes, I could use these in a pinch. But... And then I found some clearance pants for Coco. So we're gonna keep looking. Literally was about to walk away and I found this, but there's no tag or anything on it. Let's see if I can get this pretty cheap. And if there's another one, cause it was literally just laying on top of these Mason um, soup bowl containers. For people that don't be believing Gucci being a uh, Ross, uh, I got at least six pair of glasses right here, but I don't need any. Okay, so I'm not bad in this Ross. Um, the customer service sucks, but you know, it's Austin. So what am I supposed to expect? Honestly, I got to think about that in real life for real. Because the, the service be trash, but they have good like things. getting close to that time of the year y'all people are taking their dogs out in public and they're leaving them in the car Ooh, what is this i want this shit almost bust my ass okay so Switch out batteries because the other one did. Just left. Good old good old cheese factory. Cheesecake factory. Um y'all. I need to get home. Let me put this back here. Because I wanted to know. So uh I will say this. Um, today we did we did uh stick-ish to our budget. Um I still have 
I still have cash left over, but that's besides the point. Um, anything that I have now left, again, is um, for, like, essentials. I, I say essentials, but more so, I mean, like, if I'm out and uh, I want, like, a drink or something, that... Because it is essential to drink. But I did get me a uh, tapioca. I got a lemonade instead of a tea. A strawberry lemonade with passion fruit um, bursters. And my cheesecake, I'll show you guys when I get home. I got cookie dough and strawberry. And again, I'm going to eat. Probably, I'm going to taste both of them. But I'm most likely going to share with the kids. Whatever's left, they can eat. Because um, I'm not buy I was not buying them a whole cheesecake. A piece. Mm -mm. All right. We're in here, Trader Joe's haul. I'm here to get the frozen stuff taken care of first. I think that's this bag. I'm gonna start with the cold stuff. So I got me some sweet tri-color peppers, uh, the pepper minis. I like these with cream cheese. So you cut them in half, put some cream cheese on it. I don't put any seasoning with it. I just do whipped cream cheese, that's it. Perfect little snack. I got two things of apples because I'm lazy. Very lessy, and then we put this in the kids' lunches. And I feel like some of them are already wilted. What? I didn't look at the dates. Pomegranate seeds. Um, I usually make a papaya bowl, but I'm gonna start making like other bowls. You'll see in a second. I got some Persian cucumbers. Oh, my phone is ringing. I got. I got another one of these uh vegetable fried rice let me go ahead and put this stuff in the fridge while i'm like doing this so brb um i got two buttermilk ranch dressings uh the trader joe's kind i got two things of strawberries then i got the green and uh and purple grapes That's it for that bag okay broccoli florets Jumbo blueberries. Coco loves blueberries. Two things of carrots. All right, here we go. Here's my frozen stuff. Two chicken fried rice. Trader Joe's chicken fried. Trader Joe's fried rice doesn't matter what kind. You can never lose. Frozen strawberries. And then two of the acai packets. I'm super, excuse me, super excited to try these because I want to start making more, um, more smoothie bowls for breakfast. Two tomatoes. Um, I love, love, love tomatoes and cucumber. I got a thing of kosher dill pickle spears. Two of the um, peanut butter pretzels. Now these, the cookie butter that Trader Joe's has, I thought this was going to be really good with it. Uh, we're going to try it and see. And rate it 1 through 10. No, that's it. <laughs> A new fruit, which is honey mango. Now I love mango to death. Um, and I'm obviously going to be putting these in the fruit bowl and stuff. But like, I can cut these up for the kids and put like some honey on it. Or put, um, put something on it. And then there goes their fruit for the day. So I picked these up because I just want to try something new with the girls. Oh, Trader Joe's total was $117.26, by the way, uh, for everything that you're going to see, um, that you have seen so far. Um, this, you already know, if you are a Tradarius Joe, I just knocked one more bag down. So four bags of groceries for $117.26. Again, their stuff is cheaper to me in, like, Again, it's not close, but it's cheaper to go for me because we eat so many fruits and vegetables anyway. So, anyway, and I don't get a lot of junk food with them, but A1, A1 day one. If you ever have the opportunity to go to Sir Darius Joe's house, get you some pancake bread. I look ball headed. It is 1244. Kids get out of school at 3 o'clock, so I only have a little bit of time to watch some shows that I want to watch, TV shows that I want to watch, and um, relax before they get home. Uh, I do have a show recommendation that me and Mr. Sir have watched. It's called Evil. It is on Amazon Prime. Watch it. Tell me what you think about it. Watch it. Okay, y'all. I'm on the floor. I literally just picked the girls up from school. 
purse still on but I just throw it right here for the moment I'm gonna finish out the haul from what I purchased at uh, TJ TJ Maxx and Ross um, I think the receipt should be in the bags because I told them to put them in the bags but I know both uh, both times was around 30 and 40 dollars so and I got two of these little containers I need to find some dry erase markers because you can um, write on these with dry erase markers so that they know which is what or if I put milk in this which I probably won't know what day it goes bad but as quickly as milk goes in this household it ain't gonna go bad but you know got two of these and these were on clearance for ten dollars if you can see that um the snack to go so you can put your vegetable here and then some dip here so i only got two i thought i got more but they were only 2.99 a piece so um and then i got a pocket sandwich maker um so they can make their own uncrustables uh instead of buying the uncrustables because honestly that's just team too much this was only two dollars on clearance um and then the bento boxes so again i only got three i was trying to get the fourth one but the fourth one they was trying to say was eight dollars instead of the five dollars that it was um 4.99 five dollars same thing so i got she tried to say it was the design but again these all have designs on them this one has like floral mushroom type situation um this one has dragonflies dragonflies on that one and then this one's just a plain blue like there's no real design on that but again they were all 4.99 so i was like let me snatch these up i'm pretty sure if i go to a different tj maxx there will be more but yeah and i think these are dishwasher safe which one is ours you want the pink one mm -hmm. i want like the white one that's like a green it's like a tan. Mm. Take the blue too. I love that. That will be for us. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome, Bubby. So at Ross is where I basically got like home essential stuff because I really needed my tea light tea light candles. So I got two of the same thing. They were both three dollars. Oh, four ninety nine. They were four ninety nine. Uh okay. Mm -hmm. This is where I found the clearance pants for bean. Um these were $6.99. Um, I don't know what the regular price was for these, but I was just like, oh, I seen that little clearance tag. I was like, yeah, let me pick them up. Um, oh, also, like I had said before, because I look at the dates, this is still good until February 2025. But I do buy like the Nutella if I find it at the stores because it's a lot cheaper than buying it in the grocery store. Um, because I think this little thing is like $7 and I got this for four. So I'll be trying to save my coin anywhere I can. I think I might take these back because I don't necessarily need them, but I don't necessarily not need them because I don't meal prep, but it would be nice for like, it would be nice to start meal prepping if that makes sense because then that will make me eat, but sometimes leftovers mess my stomach up and I can't eat it. So we're, it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Um, but. I don't know. We on the fence about uh, keeping these, um, but again, it's it's affordable. Like there's uh, ten containers in here, um, so the bento box that I found uh, just randomly in the aisles. Um, again, she gave it to me for four dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she gave it to me for four dollars. So. This one I don't think is um, dishwasher safe, which is okay, but it does have the different compartments for different things and then this piece comes out. I'm gonna keep my Ross receipt because I think I might take the, I think I might take the containers back. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm gonna put them in the bag. I'm gonna sleep on it and we'll go from there. Again, it's affordable, but like if I don't meal prep, if I'm not gonna meal prep, like I don't really need it. So we gonna put it in the bag and again sleep on that <laughs> um, everything else we're just going to go ahead and get washed up and get it done for get it finished and done with um but there goes that haul you're welcome 
welcome. Okay, and then the last thing that we got was <laughs> Sephora. My Sephora, I got this at the Family Dollar, so this didn't count. Those are like my little guilty pleasures at night. Yeah. But you already know, like I said, I watch uh, Peyton Charles, and she went on two brand trips with uh, Sol de Janeiro. Here, Black, pick these up too, and then y'all can sit down and eat y'all snack, and I guess y'all can watch your iPads for a little bit. Okay. Um... She went on two branded trips with uh, Sol de Janeiro, and I had the Bum Bum Cream previously. I bought this a while ago, but like I was very hesitant about using it. And the only reason is because I was just like, dang, what am I going to buy it again? What am I going to buy it again? What am I going to buy it again? Uh, and again, I, like I was telling you guys, I kind of put myself on a back burner when it comes to a lot of things because of the situation that I was in. I'm not doing that anymore. Like, I'm not. So I went and got the uh, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream the original um again i really like this uh fresh out of the shower so what i'm yummy because i buy yummy stuff okay we're, we're not gonna entertain that because i don't know what she's talking about probably one of my favorite body creams oh lord it's just i don't know it's just classic and it smells super sweet and pairing this with a fragrance i think i'm gonna do a whole video on like pairing lotions with fragrances so you guys are just like okay this is how we can smell good all day i think i'm gonna do that next for you guys but i got that one and then i got the new one and i don't even know how to pronounce it delicia drench we're gonna try that cherry rose 59 fragrance this is what we're going with listen this one smells so good can I get the big one? Like, because I know they have a big, big one. I know they do. Like, the... I know they do. But my Sephora apparently did not. Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't know how to describe that one. Like, this is my favorite scent. I thought it was the Bum Bum Cream, but baby, no, it's the used one. It's just a little purple one. This purple one is the bee's knees. Um, But I got those two, and then I needed to get a new lip gloss that was not plumping. You guys know I bought um, a lip gloss, a lip gloss at Ulta, and it was plumping, babes. I don't like plumping lips, so I I asked uh, one of the workers there because Fenty, I love Fenty products, but Fenty lip glosses leak. It does not matter what you do, and it's super super sticky when it leaks out. It's just it's just a whole mess. Even if you don't, excuse me, even if you don't have it on its side or anything, like I had it on my vanity in the bathroom, and it still leaked. And I'm like, okay okay that's what we got going on so i'm trying the tower 28 um lip this says lip jelly it wasn't sticky in store because i tried it on my arm or on my hand i wasn't sticky in store in the um sales clerk she was just like no it's not really sticky i would recommend this they were trying to get me a tinted lip and i was telling the girl i was just like no girl i don't want nothing tinted i just want a clear gloss that is not going to leak in my purse um so we're gonna try it again it's really it's a clear gloss she said it's not sticky and again i tried it in store and it's not so but the gloss is there like oh i missed part of my lip chair but the gloss is there and i just like i think more so recently i'm into glosses or lip oils and um like a lip liner instead of actually doing tinted or colored um lip glosses or i'm sorry lipsticks especially the matte i think i'm done with matte because <sighs> that'd be drawing my lips out bro the matte lips that i the matte lipsticks that i have i threw them away whatever <laughs> i did um most of the makeup that i have i threw away because it's over a year old and i know makeup only lasts for so long but um i think i'm probably going to end the day here i was going to cook uh salmon but i did not go get any fresh salmon because I was supposed to go to H-E-B, but I did not to go to H-E-B. I got stuck like Chuck doing other stuff. So I'm going to put these away. Put my stuff in my um, tower, in my uh, body care tower. Because I can't really call it a perfume tower anymore. Because it's more than just perfume in there. Um, and then go back. Want some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita. But definitely set this party off right. Oh, oh, oh.